Good day everyone and once again we are back together and uh, this time we're going to be focusing just a little bit on the IEB exam. Uh, so if you haven't subscribed please just make sure that you are part of the family just hit that subscribe button and of course you can always get in touch with us. Uh, email address is info at mlungisinkosi.co.za. All right, so um, just in, uh, in time for your exam preparations, I hope that uh, this will be helpful. Um, and you're more than welcome to also give suggestions on what you want us to cover during the course of this uh, exam preparation period. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Right, so I took this question from the 2019, I think, uh, supplementary exam and um, it has to do with tortoises. Okay, so let's see what it says. Right, so we've got two tortoises, uh, which is A and B, that are walking in the same at the same speed. So that's very uh, important in this case. Uh, so to the right, and tortoise A is 40 centimeters long. All right, and they say to us a spider that is at point X, okay, on the ground notices that it takes um, eight seconds for tortoise A to pass from the nose to the tail. All right, so there's our tortoise A in this case. Okay, I just zoom in a little bit. All right, they say, first of all, define the term speed. Um, please, I hope by now that you've got your definitions, um, you know, correct in this case. Remember that speed is the rate of change in distance, right? Whereas velocity is the rate of change in a position or displacement, right? Speed is the rate of change in distance, right? Now let's have a look at the second question. They say to us, calculate the speed of tortoise A. Right, now, what I want us to check here, remember that tortoise A is 40 centimeters long and they said that it passes point X, which is that point over there uh, in just eight seconds. So remember what we can do uh, is use our equations of motion s is equal to ut plus half a t squared but remember in this case that uh, because we're dealing with constant velocity or constant speed so what it simply uh, means is that we're going to actually get rid of this part because uh, in this case um, our uh, acceleration is zero right so we know that the distance uh, is 40 centimeters in that case. In fact, I should be writing this at the bottom, right? It's 40 centimeters, uh, 40 centimeters. In fact, we should convert that to meters, all right? Uh, so in this case, I know that this is going to simply give me uh, 40 divided by 100. Remember, centi means a hundredth, right? So in this case, uh, let's see, this is going to be 40 divided by 100. Actually, I'm not even sure why I'm even using a calculator. So this is going to give us 0 0.4. So that's 0 0.4. We want the speed, okay? And we know that uh, it took eight seconds, okay? So in this case, of course, we're going to just divide uh, by eight. Uh, in fact, you know what, just for the sake of... Uh, uh, getting a bit of, um, yeah, some space. Let me actually write it at the bottom there. So that's 2.1.2. Okay, so in 2.1.2, we said we're going to say S is equals to V times T. In this case, we know that this is going to be 0 0.4 centimeter, uh, meters rather. Uh, we want the speed, which is V. And the time in this case was eight seconds. So we can divide both sides by eight. And that would give us, um, in this case, it would give us 0 0.05. Uh, what am I doing writing T there? Uh, I'm looking for V. So that would give us 0 0.05 meters per second. Okay, right. Um, so now they say if it takes tortoise B, um, 3.2 seconds to pass point X, calculate the length of tortoise B. Now, remember, uh, both tortoises are actually moving at the same speed. Remember, they told us that, um, you know, uh, in, in the opening statement of the question. So in this case, what it simply means is that now to answer that question, I'm essentially going to use the same equation, 
uh, remember I'm dealing with constant speed in this case. So I know that uh, it took the tortoise, so it's moving at the same speed, which is 0 0.05, right? I want to find out the time that it took uh, for it. Uh, uh, sorry, I, I want to rather find out the length of the tortoise in this case, but I know that it took 3.2 seconds uh, to pass. So that's multiplied by 3.2. Uh, so I'm going to take 0 0.05 times uh, 3.2 and that would give me 0 0.16 uh, meters okay so i am actually calculating that distance in meters if you want to um, in this case that means that this is 16 centimeters right all right now uh, to go to the next question now they say to us when the tortoise uh, when the tortoises rather are 30 centimeters apart a lettuce leaf is placed in front of them at point Y, which is 50 centimeters in front of tortoise B as shown below, right? So in this case, um, they say if tortoise B continues walking at the same speed, right? That's the one that's calculated in 2.1.2, which is 0 0.05 in this case, uh, and tortoise A accelerates towards the lettuce leaf, Calculate the magnitude of the acceleration required for the tortoise, that is A in this case, to reach the leaf at the same time. Right, now, I want us to kind of think about it a little bit, okay? So that's going to be question 2.2, okay? So I want us to uh, think about it. So the head, in fact, let me just use the diagram here. We want this guy to catch up, okay? That is uh, tortoise A. So we want tortoise A to kind of play catch up. So in this case, the distance that tortoise A has to move is that entire distance there uh, to reach the leaf, right? So that would be 30 centimeters plus the length of this tortoise, which is, remember, we got 16 centimeters just now, or 0 0.16, okay? And uh, plus the 50. So that would give me, um uh, that's 46 that's plus 50 that's 96 centimeters right uh to get to that point now remember we want them to get there at the same time so what i want to do is let me find out how long it will take for tortoise b to get to that point okay to get to the leaf so let's find out from uh, tortoise b we know tortoise b will still maintain the same speed however it is now covering just a distance of 50 centimeters, right? So uh, I'm going to say, okay, so that's S is equal to V multiplied by T. You can say plus half A T squared, but remember that A is zero in this case. So now I know I'm covering 50 centimeters, which is 0 0.5 meters, okay? My speed is 0 0.05 centimeters, uh, uh, sorry, uh, meters per second, that is uh, the one that we calculated, multiplied by the time. I want to find out how long it takes, right? So in this case, I'm going to divide both sides, 0 0.05. Um, and what happens is I get the time there. Of course, that's going to give me 10 seconds, right? So I know that it takes 10 seconds for tortoise B to reach the leaf. So how far, or in this case, uh, what should be the magnitude of the acceleration for tortoise A in order to reach uh, the leaf at the same time? That is in 10 seconds, right? So I'm going to say, okay, so S is equals to UT plus half AT squared. Uh, and of course, nothing wrong with using uh, delta X is equal to VI delta T plus uh, 1 over 2a delta t squared, right? Nothing wrong. It's still the same thing. Okay, it's just a matter of semantics, right? So um, now remember for tortoise A, it is now moving that 96 uh, centimeters, right? So in this case, it would be 96 divided by 100. That would be 0 0.96, okay? Uh, the speed, remember, it started at a speed of 0 0.05, okay? 
and it must be able to move for 10 seconds uh, plus 1 over 2 times a multiplied by 10 squared okay right uh, sorry for all of that okay maybe i might as well just remove all of this right so in this case um, all we simply going to do is let's try and isolate in this case so i'm going to take that to the other side so that's 0 0.96 minus uh, so zero that's going to be 0 0.5 uh, 10 squared is 100 and multiplied by half that's 50 so that's 50a okay is 0 0.96 okay i'm gonna take that to the other side so 0 0.96 minus 0 0.5 will give us 0 0.46 uh, which is equal to 50a divide both sides by 50 and in this case what does that give us Okay, so we've got 0 0.46, um, so that's 0 0.46 divided by 50, and that gives us 0 0.0092. So the magnitude of the acceleration, 0 0.0092 meters per second squared. So that should be the magnitude of the acceleration of uh, tortoise A in order for it to actually reach the leaf at the same time with tortoise b all right i hope that was helpful and of course we're going to be tackling some more questions on the ieb exam and of course for those of you who are doing gde um you know this part and uh, doesn't necessarily fall uh, within the gde uh, exam except for grade 11 um so uh, you can continue to watch the others they're going to be relevant uh, but not this one in particular all right, ladies and gents, otherwise I'll see you guys again next time. Let's continue uh, chatting and preparing for the exam. Shop, shop.